So very interesting question from time and work. It says the amount of work done by a man on nth day after starting the work is n times the amount of work done by that man or amount of work that can be done on the first day. Right? The amount of work done by a man on nth day after starting the work is n times the amount of work that can be done on the first day. If eight men start the work, it can be completed in 10 days. If the work has to be completed in four days, how many men have to work? Now, if you only look at the second part of the question, it's a sitter, right? If eight men can do it in 10 days, then how many men are required to do it in four days? But then that's not the actual question. The actual question is with the statement which says amount of work done by a man on nth day is n times is n times the amount of work that can be done on the first day, right? Now, for example, let's assume that the amount of work done on the first day is x. How much work will be done on the second day? 2x. Two times the work done on the first day. How much work will be done on the third day? 3x. How much work do you think will be done on the fourth day? 4x and so on. How much work will be done on nth day? nx. On first day, if you have done x, on nth day, this is the first day, second day, third day, fourth day and so on. This is nth day. So amount of work done on nth day is going to be n times the amount of work done on first day. So on first day you have done x, nth day you will do nx. On 14th day you will do 14x. On 10th day you will do 10x. That's the idea, right? So that's what the question actually says. The amount of work done by any man on nth day is n times the work done on the first day. So they're working in a different uh, in, a, in a different style, right? Usually we say the work done by each man on the same, every day is same, like x, x, x and so on, right? Unless the capacity doubles or halves or you know changes in some fashion, but here it is, uh, it is a, it, it's a, it, it's it's increasing, right? It's n times the capacity on the first day. So on the hundredth day, he will do hundred times the work done on the first day. Now read the first part of the question. If eight men start the work, it can be completed in ten days. Let's first of all figure out how, what is the work done. What is the total work of work done here? In, 10 days. He says 8 men have started the work. See, if each man does x, how will they, how much will they do? Uh, if one man does x, 8 men will do 8x on first day. The work got completed in 10 days. So how much work has been done by the way? See, on the first day they would do 8x, second day they do 16x, then they do 24x, then they do 32x and so on. On 10th day they will do 80x. This is the total work. This is the total work has, which has been done by all this man. Are able to follow the total work done w is equal to see each man does x this is one man per man eight men will do 8x on the first day on the second day every man will do double the work of first day so total work will get doubled 8x will become 16x on the third day every man will do three times of the first day so three times of 8x 24x three times of 8x is 24x then four times of 8x 32x likewise on 10th day they will do 8x Yes or no? The work done in 10 days. First day, second day, so on, till 10 days. So what is the total work? Total work, I mean, if you take 8x common here is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, so on till 10. Now, you know the sum of first 10 numbers is 55, right? I mean, n into n plus 1 by 2. So 10 into 11 by 2 is 55. 55 into 8x is equal to 440x. So what I've understood now is that the total work to be done is 440x, whatever that x be. Whatever that x be, the total work to be done is 440x. In this fashion, keeping this uh, style of work in mind, when 8 men start the work, in 10 days they have done the whole work. And that whole work amounts to 440x. Now the same 440x is to be completed in 4 days. If the work has to be completed in 4 days, then how many men should work? If this work has to be completed in 4 days, then how many men have to work? And then how many men have to work? Now we have a second case. Second case, we have only 4 days. First day, second day, third day and fourth day. We have to complete it in four days. We have got only four days. How much has to be completed in four days? 440x has to be completed in four days. So how many men have to work is the question. How many men should start the work? See here, eight men started the work. It's only eight men. The number of men are not doubling or tripling here. It's only the work done is getting doubled and tripled and so on. Eight men started, they did 8x, then 16x and so on. Now, how many men should start the work or how many men should do the work so that it can be done in four days? Now, going by the same style of work, in the same fashion of the work, let's assume they have done Y on first day. Whatever be the number of men, they have done Y amount of work in first day. How much will they do on second day? 2Y. How much will they do on third day? 3Y. How much will they do on fourth day? 4Y. 
So now if you observe, you, you understand. I mean, this y is for the new number of persons. It was 8x for 8 persons. Let's say there are x, I mean, not, I cannot take the same variable. Let's say there are some other number of men, right? Some uh, other variable there. So if it is y on first day, on the second day, they will do 2y. Whatever be the number of men, they will do y work. Let's say y men will do y work. On the second day, they will do 2y work. On the third day, they will do 3y work. On the fourth day, they will do 4y work. Now, can I say, see this y plus 2y plus 3y plus 4y is how much? It is 10y, right? 10y is equal to 440x, which implies y is equal to 44x, which means the amount of work done on the first day, amount of work done on first day which is equal to y is equal to 44x and i know that one man can do x per day so how many men how many men 44 men and that's your answer 44 men should start this work so that they can complete in four days are you able to follow so 44 men is the final answer to this question now you can check see 44 men will do how much in first day 44x if you want to re-verify 44 men will do 44x on first day. How much will they do on second day? 88x. How much will they do on third day? 132x. How much will they do on fourth day? 176x. Is this total adding up to 440? Yes. 44 plus 88 plus 132 plus 176 is equal to 440x. That's what we want, right? See, the whole idea is now to split this 440 into four days. Earlier, 440 was split in 10 days in a way that second day it's twice of first day, third day it's twice of first day, fourth day it's four times the first day and so on now the same 40 has to be split in four days in such a way that in such a way that second day is twice of first day third day is thrice of first day fourth day is four times of first you can see this is 44 into 2 now 44 into 2 this is 44 into 3 this is 44 into 4 yes or no 132 and 88 is 220 176 and 44 is also 220. 220 plus 220, 440. So the answer is 44 men should start the work. 44 men, they'll start the work and they can finish it in four days.